Hello and welcome to Daily News Videos. Welcome to a journey through the intricate fabric of India's fiscal federalism, where the equitable distribution of resources forms the bedrock of balanced development across regions. At the heart of this mechanism lies the esteemed Finance Commission, a constitutional body tasked with navigating the complex terrain of revenue allocation between the centre and the states. Established every five years, the Finance Commission embodies the spirit of cooperative federalism, with a mandate to assess the financial needs of states independently and recommend a fair distribution of tax proceeds. Led by a chairman and members appointed by the President, the Commission operates with impartiality, ensuring that each state receives its due share of resources. Central to the Commission's recommendations are a set of criteria meticulously crafted to account for the diverse economic, demographic and ecological realities of India's states. From income distance to population size and forest cover, these criteria serve as guiding principles to promote equity and inclusivity in revenue distribution. However, recent years have witnessed a concerning trend, particularly for southern states, as their share of tax revenue from the divisible pool has seen a gradual decline. Despite their significant contributions to tax collection, these states find themselves receiving a diminishing proportion of resources, exacerbating disparities in development. To address these disparities, there is a growing consensus on the need for proactive measures to recalibrate the system. One key proposal is to enlarge the divisible pool by incorporating certain cesses and surcharges, thereby ensuring a more equitable distribution of resources among states. In conclusion, achieving optimal financial devolution among states requires a nuanced approach that balances the principles of equity, efficiency and federalism. By embracing reforms such as enlarging the divisible pool and re-evaluating criteria for allocation, India can pave the way for inclusive growth and equitable prosperity across all regions. That's all for today. Stay tuned for more updates. Thanks for joining us.